The first thing I love about Nigerian people is hard work. These people are so hardworking. They can do anything to have what they want. Let me tell you something. Nigerians work hard. They work super hard. I told you in the previous videos that they don't complain so much the way some of the African people complain in different countries. And that's why we are facing a Nigerian problem in Africa. Yes, because they work hard and they're ready to go everywhere to make money. So much has been said about Nigeria and a lot of things are still being said about the country on a daily basis. By well-wishers, good people, bad people, and everyone according to what they have heard, according to, to what they know, and according to what they want to speak about the country. And a lot of people, of course, will continue talking about the country Nigeria according to what they want. Some want to talk trash, some want to talk good things about the country. If you're a frequent visitor of my YouTube channel, you must have realized that of recent I've made several videos about Nigeria. Uh, actually, it wasn't intentional, but because of the topics that I was discussing in those videos, like African music, African comedy, African film, the development in Africa, and other things that I was talking about in those particular videos. So I had to talk about Nigeria as a country. But a lot of comments came to me. Some were good and some were bad. But some of the trails and the comments that came to me, one of the person even called me a dog. Yes, he called me a dog, an animal called a dog, because I was talking good things about a country in Africa and he, he's from another country in Africa but he feels so bad when I talk about the good things that have been done by the people in one African country and that's where we are that's where these people wanted us to be hate each other don't talk good things about each other we have been put in a position where we hate even the truth and we want to believe lies about our own selves. Anyway, leaving the bad things aside, is there any good thing about Nigeria? Like, are there good things that we should love about Nigeria? Nigeria as a country and the Nigerian people. There are hundreds of reasons for loving the country Nigeria and for loving the Nigerian people. I personally have lived with a lot of Nigerian friends. Back in my country, Uganda, as a traveler, I've traveled with Nigerians on the plains. I've met Nigerians along the way, I've met Nigerians at airports and I've met Nigerians in different countries around the world. And I've learned a lot of things about Nigeria as a country and about Nigerian people. First of all, I'm going to give you the reasons why I love Nigerian people. And later on in this video, I'll tell you why I love Nigeria as a country. Or maybe I'll even tell you the things that I hate about Nigeria. The first thing I love about Nigerian people is hard work. These people are so hardworking. They can do anything to have what they want. Let me tell you something. Nigerians work hard. They work super hard. I told you in the previous videos that they don't complain so much the way some of the African people complain in different countries. And that's why we are facing a Nigerian problem in Africa. Yes, because they work hard and they're ready to go everywhere to make money. Nigerians are ambitious, like they are super ambitious. If they want something, they will go for it, okay? There's nothing that is going to put them down, like to make them stop or pause or do something else. If they want to do something, they're going to do it. If they want some money, they are going to work until they get that money. They are hardworking, but also ambitious. They are super ambitious. They always follow their goal. The other thing that I've learned about Nigerians, and I love it so much, is confidence. A lot of people from other African countries are not as such confident as Nigerians are. They're so confident. They're always strong. They stand still and defend themselves. They stand still and talk about what they like and what they don't like. They stand still and defend their culture they stand still and defend their country they stand still and even speak big in English in foreign countries actually in English speaking countries and by the way working as an ESL teacher in Asia I learned something about Nigerians these people love learning like they are ready to learn they will tell you that I don't know this they will ask you that, how can I use this? How can I use such a machine? How can I do this? How can I open this? How should I teach this? They are always ready to learn new things and they are always ready to admit that they don't know something so that you can teach them. And that makes them super perfect. Another thing that I've learned about Nigerians and I love it so much is that they can endure hardships. Nigerians can go through anything. By the way, Nigerians are ready to go to prison for anything they want. Uh, I said it. They can sleep hungry 
just to save money to send back home. They can choose to sleep in a bad environment. They can choose to eat cheap food on the streets. They can choose to go through all the hardships and endure so that they can have a successful future. There is something that I wonder about Nigerians and if you're a Nigerian and you're watching this video, please tell me. Why do you guys always remain happy even when you're suffering? Like, they have a lot of problems back home. The country political system, the securities, environment in their country right now is not so good and and for a long time there's been war Boko Haram and whatever but Nigerians always remain happy no matter what is happening back in their homes Nigerian people okay most of them are super friendly if you have met a Nigerian and they have not been friendly to you maybe they are not Nigerian I've met several Nigerian people and they're always ready to be your friends. Even when they meet you at the airport, they're always super friendly and they want to be your friend. They want to share contacts. They want to know you. They, they don't care where you're coming from, who you are and what. They always want to be your friend. Let me tell you some things that, that I love about Nigeria as a country. First of all, I love Nigerian music, the Nigerian Afrobeat. Like, I really, really love Nigerian music. I can't listen to 10 songs without listening to, to Nigerian music. No, 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 no. I can listen to 10 songs and there is no Nigerian song in my playlist. No. Secondly, I love Nigerian comedians. Yes, I love Nigerian comedians on YouTube and TikTok. I'm always ready to, to watch Nigerian content like I love Oga Sabinos, I love MC Lively. The other thing I love about Nigeria is Joref Rice. Is it called Jorif rice? Jorif rice. That rice that is like the Indian biryan. That rice looks very nice. By the way, I've never tested it. I just love to see it in the pictures. I hope I can cook it by myself and eat it one time. And by the way, the other thing I love about Nigeria is speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the big big in English, the Nigerian big in English, the way you speak that language like man, how far how how they how are they how far they how far now? What I hate about Nigeria you have a lot of scammers and internet fraud stars. But anyway, I think the rate of crime that is in Nigeria is not higher than the rate of crime that is in the United States or in Asia or any other part of the world. But because of the white supremacy and the European supremacy together, these people always want Africa to look so bad. That's why I sometimes I've had other Africans when they choose to hate Nigerians because of some criminals. These people always want Africa to look so bad. They always want Africans to look like they're so bad. Like previously there came a COVID-19 variant from South Africa. They say that it originated in South Africa. Of course, we don't have evidence about that. But they stopped South African citizens from going to Europe, traveling to America and other countries. And yet, the Chinese COVID-19 that came in 2019, the first variant, the second that came from the UK, the others that came from all other countries, those people were not banned from traveling. Chinese travel over the world. People from the UK travel over the world and even Africans don't ban them from coming to their countries. So whenever we're talking about African countries, we should always be careful not to side with our haters. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Thank you for liking. Please leave a comment down below. Where are you watching from? And if you're Nigerian, I would love to hear from you. My name is Sean Benefits. See you in the next video.